Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is People in happy relationships, what is your so's worst trait? His absolutely awful Italian impersonations he obnoxiously does in public just to embarrass the hell out of me. I get so annoyed, turn bright red, sweat profusely and yell at him to stop but that just makes him yell I I linguini, etc louder. I don't know about worst trait but an annoying habit, he changes the words to popular songs, sings them constantly, and gets them stuck in my head. So then I just repeat the wrong words over and over in front of people. His version of songs are often inappropriate slash completely meaningless. Hilarious, but I can never think of some songs the right way again. Edit, two examples I can think of are. Katy Perry's unconditionally with the chorus sung as, Uncle de Giorno, Uncle DG or no Lee. That song from The Little Mermaid, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my erections petite? Glad to know he's not alone. Starts to say something to me while walking away. All I hear is hey, don't forget to hack Fnaldnuzov. I'm looking around trying to decipher what the hell he just said to me and start making shit up. He'll get mad when he has to repeat himself. He is the strangest combination of expiration date Nazi and human iteration of a rubbish heap. If anything has met or exceeded the suggested sell by date, he'll pitch it, even if it's still good. Expensive jar of almond butter? Barely used condiment? Bottle of apple cider vinegar? Bag of almonds? Those are all history, unless I can liberate them before he pitches them. Drives me nuts when I go to find something later, only to find it was thrown away. However, this habit does not extend to anything without an expiration date printed on it. He will leave leftovers in the fridge until they're even too far gone to be a decent penicillin experiment. She doesn't rinse off her cereal bowls. If you rinse your cereal bowl right away it cleans so easily, if you leave it though the cereal gets all hard and stuck to the plate. It turns a 5 second rinse job into a 2 to 3 minute rinse job. She can't watch anything without stopping it and rewinding it over and over, either because she wasn't paying attention or she wants to read some silly detail. It usually takes at least twice as long to watch anything. When I ask her to repeat herself, because I didn't hear what she said, she just repeats one word, making it even more difficult to understand. So, did you hear the queen was too sick to attend church at Christmas? Me. Sorry. So, the queen. Me, huh? So, the queen. Me, what? So, at Christmas. Me, what the hell are you talking about? So, oh forget it. I posted this the other week but my husband is the anti-hoarder. Why do we have this giant torch slash flashlight? We never use a giant torch slash flashlight throws it away. One week later, has a blackout why don't we have any big torches in the house? Why am I stuck using these little travel size ones? He's indecisive as fuck. I love my husband with all my heart but why do I have to park before we go into a drive through so he can look at a menu on his phone before he orders the same thing he gets every other time. The other day I had to pick for him at a dine-in restaurant because he kept saying should I get a salad or a burger, long enough for the server to come back three separate times to take our order. My girlfriend doesn't at all like to do things that benefit herself and slightly inconvenience me. Example, do you want me to pick you up from school? She doesn't drive, you drive me around a lot, I don't want to inconvenience you. Like. I'm sitting on my ass doing nothing and I want to see you, just let me help you damn it. We don't live together. He doesn't tell me everything that I would tell if I were him. For example, once we were talking about our days and he said and then I came home early after the funeral. Funeral. You know, for Bob. Who is Bob? My co-worker, 
the one who died last week of cancer. He had been working with this guy for a year. In an office of maybe 20 people. He had never once mentioned a co-worker named Bob who had cancer and died. Meanwhile I tend to chatter every thought that passes my brain. At first I thought he might be hiding something, but nope. He just genuinely thinks of different things to talk about than I do. She is a semi-compulsive hoarder. We recently bought a new kettle and she refuses to throw away our old one. This would be semi-innocent if we didn't already have a backup kettle for our backup kettle. So we have three kettles. This is what it's like with every purchase we make. I figured out she really hates throwing things away for nothing so I have started introducing her to selling things online. Personally I don't even bother with it and just throw things out, but she seems be getting fond on selling our old stuff. It's a good compromise, tongue sticking out. He's like a human heater and likes cuddling too much, so I end up waking up in the middle of the night literally sweating as he constantly rolls over to spoon me which is really sweet until I almost get heat stroke. His worst trait, terrible with money and planning. I'm organized and good at saving so that's my thing. My worst trait, master procrastinator and slob. He's more motivated and finds cleaning relaxing so that's his thing. Just find someone who is the opposite of you in all the right ways. He snores. And I'm not talking roll him over and he stops snores. It's more a consider building a soundproof tiny house in the backyard and flipping a coin to see whose new bedroom it will be kind of snoring. No matter what doors are closed in our house, I hear it. He sometimes lets the kid in him completely take over. Like if he has a responsibility to something, but then something fun, like playing in the snow, comes up. He will try to either drop his responsibilities entirely, or try to drastically change the day's plans, sometimes to the point of fucking people over. He's got the text conversation flow skills of a golden retriever. Me, hey honey did you sleep well? Him, photo of his cat. Me, uh, I miss that kitty. What are you up to? Him, watching a documentary. Me cool what's is about him photo of a pan of eggs and shit me cooking breakfast yum what is it him yes he's not impressed or easily excited by anything for example when we go on vacation i'll see something and think it's really interesting and i'll want to take a picture of it but he'll say really but it's just underscore 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 or but it's such a gimmick slash really touristic, and I'll just kind of deflate because he has effectively sapped my own excitement away. TL, DR, I am an easily excitable person and he is not so he always pees on my parade. He is like the classic stupid movie stereotype of a man watching sports. Especially hockey, he knows too much about it and will start screaming stuff like and that's why you should have picked up another forward in the goddamn slot. I can't even say they can't hear you love because I've said it so many times it annoys even me. She never finishes a can of soda or a beverage. There is always one third left in the bottom. I don't know why, but it annoys me so much. Then the dog knocks it over or I knock it over when I think it's done and misjudge the weight. Pretty serious I know. I hope we can make it work. I don't mind sharing a bite of food with her, that's totally fine, smiley face, however every time I'm left with a, a ring of saliva coating my sandwich or with E extending an inch or two past the bite mark. Like she starts to take a bite three times as big as she can, deposits her spit there, and then retreats back to a reasonable bite. Why? My so is a frequent redditor and I'm pretty sure he knows my user but with his memory, I don't know. That's not the trait I dislike though. It's how dismissive he can be of my opinion and my advice. He doesn't mean to be, but it's rare that he'll listen to me the first time or take what I say at face value without some sort of contradiction. For example, he asked my advice on how to clean up some oil that had leaked from his car. 
I told him to sprinkle salt on it then sweep it away when it had absorbed. He didn't listen until I reminded him I used to work at an auto garage. I've addressed it with him though, and he says he'll work on it. Even just giving me his reasons before saying no, or not quite or not really in response to my view would help a lot. He's gullible when it comes to news media. I've had to teach him how to research his sources before posting shit on Facebook that's blatant lies. He's learned, but I still don't follow him on Facebook because it gives me anxiety. He always compliments me, but when I try to give him a compliment he flat out says that he's not that great and I think he thinks I'm making things up to make him feel better. Let me love you, god damn it, you are an amazing human. He works in retail and thinks he's a marketing genius. If I grab a drink from one of those coolers in line at a store on a hot day he'll remark how I've been sucked in by marketing crap. Oh uh, no, I'm already thirsty, we won't be home for another two hours and I'm trying to avoid going to a drive through We both have the same big flaw of being stubborn. Whenever we get into a fight neither one of us wants to apologize first no matter whose fault it is. And sometimes that means we'll go a few days without talking. Luckily we are both getting better about it. But it still happens every once and a while. He makes decisions very very slowly, especially any big decision. I wait a long time for many things. But I don't like unpredictability and he is kind, smart and has a good sense of humor. Also, I am looking at all of these other posts and I do a bunch of them, so I can't complain. She's very sheltered and hasn't experienced much. Which isn't the problem, it's the cause. As a result, she never wants to try anything new. Really hesitant to step out of her very limited comfort zone. She also has trouble opening up to anyone due to crippling insecurity. Communication can be difficult. But these are the imperfections that make her perfect. You should see her when she's introduced to something new that she ends up loving. Like our recent Disneyland vacation. She had never been and I went all out. 2. Day park hopper tickets, overnight in the Disneyland hotel, drinks on downtown Disney, etc. I've never seen anyone so bright eyed and full of wonder. Just perfect childlike wonder. It was beautiful. So, babe don't play on your phone while we're watching a movie, it's rude. Me, okay babe. So, starts playing on his phone. Me, motherfu. She often does not use actual words for stuff. Can you grab me one of the, long pause, think things. It's funny because her twin sister understands exactly what is being referred to no matter the context. I'm still learning. My husband spends too much time in the bathroom. He sits on the toilet for ages pooping, jerking off, or watching cartoons. We have one bathroom and two of those activities can be done in other rooms. Literally the only thing I would change about him is the amount of time he spends in there. He's going to give himself hemorrhoids. My boyfriend is very particular, read, anal, about things. He would say I'm too relaxed about things. He's not OCD. Just, particular. For example, a paper towel is for paper towel things. A napkin is for napkin things. A tissue is for tissue things. I never grew up in a house with all those different paper products. So for me, I'll clean up a spill or blow my nose with whatever is reasonably close. The dog can't lay near the pillow because his butt might touch it. Don't put blankets on the ground. Don't leave the sponge in the sink. Close the tops of the shampoo bottle. Don't put your hairbrush in this one place because it doesn't dry. Etc. He's not necessarily wrong about any of his things, he just cares about them a lot more than I do. Mind you, he refuses to squeeze the toothpaste from the bottom. How is that something I do but he doesn't? He's great though. He is so blunt. 
he does not know how to word advice slash criticism in a nice way, ever. I'm getting used to it and I certainly appreciate that he's always honest, but sometimes it's like can't you tell me a sweet white lie for once. While I'm a terrible person, she does try to kill me constantly, by taking her shoes off on my side of the bed. I get up in the middle of the night to take a piss and I trip about half the time. I ask her about it and she just laughs. Sleeps an ungodly amount of hours in the day if he can, weekend slash vacation slash etc. I'm talking 10 to 12 hours of regular sleep, then 1 to 2 hours of food coma sleep, then maybe a 1 to 2 hour nap before bed so he can stay up late, and finally back to sleep again. Pros. He is always refreshed when awake. He is normally in a good mood after waking up. He looks fucking adorable when he sleeps. It's really quiet all the time and I love quiet. Cuddles. Cons. I can't hang out with him when he's sleeping so I get bored at home. I get Mr. Super Grumps if I wake him up at the wrong time. It's hard to plan going out spontaneously. No cuddles. Sleep farts. TL, DR, my boyfriend is part sloth and sleeps his life away. She's creepy and stalkerish in a really indirect way. She loves to go through all my NR photos at least once a day and gushing about how cute or sweet I am as if she has a high school crush and is too shy to talk to me in person except we are married and I'm sat right next to her. Sometimes she starts crying about what if I didn't like her back and I have to cuddle her and remind her that we're married. He opens cabinets and leaves them open. Also, he leaves clothes on the floor or on the bed. When I ask if he would like me to hang them up or wash them the answer is oh, um, I'm gonna wear that. Well duh, but let's put it away for now, you're not about to wear all three pairs of pants here. He starts a sentence and then halfway through stops talking and does something else. So I'm still sitting there like you were saying. And then he's like oh yeah. Like, how do you forget what you were saying in the middle of what you were saying? More than once. But I love He has a mood aura. If he's grumpy, everyone around him also magically gets more grumpy. And he isn't even broadcasting it verbally. He juicy gets quiet and withdrawn and it makes everyone's moods drop. Super weird. I have been married to my loving husband for three and a half years and I love him dearly and would die for him. That being said, he pours his cereal bowl into the kitchen sink without the drain basket in. I have to pick his soggy cereal out of the drain with my fingers. And he snores and keeps me up all night. And he leaves clutter. Again love him to pieces. But fuck. This is really hard for me to talk about. It's one of her worst qualities, and it bothers me every single day. She. She doesn't leave the windshield wipers on. What I mean is, she will continually flick them on for one wipe and then flick them back off. Every single time. Doesn't matter if there is a hurricane or a blizzard. She will flick them on for one wipe, flick them off, wait until her windshield is barely see-through, and then she will repeat the cycle. I don't know how much more I can take to be honest. We've only been together a few months, but I quickly learned that we're basically night and day when it comes to cleaning up. Example, I get a glass of milk, drink it all, then the next time I get up I take the glass with me and rinse it out in the sink, and either leave it there or put it in the dishwasher. He gets a glass of milk, drinks it all, and it's like as soon as the mug is empty, because he owns nothing but coffee mugs, it's now a permanent part of whatever surface it was sitting on. It's like he just stops noticing the mug slash dish slash silverware as soon as it's served its purpose. I sneak attack clean up while he's out of the room and move all the dishes to the kitchen. She picks up hobbies or money making schemes that she has a decent chance at success at and drops them after maybe a month and spending a hundred or more dollars. I basically had to bar her from new hobbies until she proves to me she will keep it up after the startup phase, 
usually by keeping money from her for two or three weeks and seeing if she still wants to spend the money and commit the time. He doesn't know how to communicate properly. To me, community and honesty are the most important things in a relationship. It's really hard at times, as he sometimes won't tell me if something is bothering him. He's also a very passive. Combined with the communication, it gives a guy who sometimes fucks up majorly, to the point of making me want to break up, while I'm a pretty calm person, and then doesn't know how to handle it, completely freezes. And doesn't communicate about how he could fix things. So he just retreats and feels bad about himself, instead of talking to me and making it all better. He is an amazing boyfriend, though. Incredibly supportive and kind, and most importantly, he never stops trying to improve. He doesn't put a new goddamn roll of toilet paper on the plastic thing when the old roll is done. He puts it on the counter, or the back of the toilet, or in the cabinet, or even right on top of the fucking plastic thing. Never on it. He gets frustrated way too easily. For example, he got a new phone yesterday and was having trouble pairing his smartwatch with it. He kept sighing loudly and muttering angrily for a few minutes, then exclaimed fuck it, I'm done. And threw both devices on the bed. I picked them up and calmly had them paired in seconds. The only problem was that he wasn't pairing it through the Android Wear app, he was going through the Bluetooth menu. Super simple. But instead of either asking for my help, I'm the phone geek in the relationship, or googling the issue, he just got mad that it wasn't working and gave up. Drives me nuts. He remembers everything I ever say. Every preference, every off-the-cuff whim, every mood, analysis, passing thought. He memorizes it because he cares so goddamn much about making me happy. Most of the time, awesome. But it also leads to situations where I say I want a black dinnerware set and he says but I thought you think those are super tacky, and I have to try to remember saying that 10 years ago. It's endearing slash annoying, smiley face. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.